Hello again friends, it's Paul from Circular Motion bringing you another video because I'm still sat here in the car waiting for Charlotte to come and uh, get a lift home so I thought I'd do a, another video and uh, there are people looking at me weird because I'm just this weird long haired dude sat in a school car park <laughs> talking to himself to all intents and purposes there is somebody picking up litter over there looking at me like I'm a dog nonce Colonel Annie's gone, right anyway, okay so Episode 2 uh, Mistakes I've made uh, This is more about mistakes I've made uh, As a new collector As somebody that didn't know what they were doing And still doesn't know what they were doing um, And I'm just trying to help you Avoid some of the mistakes uh, that, that I've made So uh, today Which is the same day as the last video uh, And it's only 10 minutes later um, Today I'm going to talk about Attention to detail, I guess. Uh, so, we talked in the last one about should I buy reissues or should I buy, you know, um, older copies of, of, of classic records. And if you're going to go down that route and buy the, the classic ones, always check them out. Always inspect them or if it's on eBay, ask questions. Ask questions. Uh, one of the first records I bought... Uh, as, a, as a, a new record collector it was an ACDC one uh, and I can't remember the bloody name of it it escapes me um, but anyway uh, I bought it and it, it, I thought yeah great brilliant excellent I've got this I've got it for a fiver and yeah, there was a reason I got it for a fiver so it's because it was scratched to hell and I didn't check it I just thought oh great looks like you know it looks legit it's old i got it from a, a charity shop it was one with uh, they've got them all them on the cover and i guess it's got the horns on and i can't remember the name of it which is quite embarrassing but um but yeah i got it and it, it is it isn't in in great shape at all uh and that's a regret that was five pound wasted because it doesn't matter that that it's uh you know it, it's an original pressing because it's good for shit literally you know it's it's not even I can clean it, but those those scratches are still there, so it's not going to actually make a difference. Uh, another example would be buying off eBay. So if you're going to buy off eBay, don't be afraid to ask questions, and don't be afraid to like, ask for more photographs of the record that you're going to buy. One of the first records I bought off eBay was a copy of Alice Cooper's Lace and Whiskey. Now I bought two, ultimately, and I sold one. Um, because it was in bad condition but I am always really honest about anything I sell on eBay and I, and I put it up this is it's an original copy it's an original pressing from 1977 78 I think it was and uh, you know I put I put that it sounds like someone's rattling crisps in the background rattling a crisp bag because it was that crackly and noisy and even with cleaning it it just didn't clean and you've seen that I do have a tried and tested method for cleaning records and it that just didn't didn't help it at all. So don't be afraid to inbox a seller and say, right, okay, you're advertising this is perfect. Is it perfect? Have you play tested it? Is there any surface noise? You say there are some scratches on there. Do they affect playback? Does it skip? You know, ask. And if they say I haven't play tested it, my advice to you is don't buy it. I recently, you know, broke my own rule and bought a copy of Hunky Dory because uh, it was 15 quid and it was it was a Dynaflex pressing, so it was 1972. Um, and he said I haven't play tested it, and he put a picture on that looked okay. I mean, it didn't look too bad, uh, so I thought, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll risk it. Got it, and it was just absolutely dreadful. It looked like, you know, the borrowers had been playing rugby on it. It was just covered and covered. It looked like someone had tried to clean it with sandpaper. It was that bad. Um, so, yeah, that was a, a lesson learned. I didn't take my own advice and ended up five pound out of pocket. So don't be afraid to ask questions, you know. Um, don't be intimidated by thinking that people know more than you. Even if you go to, like, you know, a second-hand record store or there are some market stores or whatever, you know, take it out, have a good look at it see what you think and and if if you're happy with how it looks you know then take that chance but but don't just buy things blindly don't don't make that mistake because otherwise you can end up with a lot of heartache even you know and, and as a caveat to that even there are records that i've bought that i've picked up and i've looked at 
and to all intents and purposes they look absolutely fine and you get them home and they don't sound absolutely fine at all seven times out of ten a good clean sorts most of that out but there are some occasions where i've bought stuff and it's just still been irredeemable so it is a chance you take with buying older records but most of the time you, you end up with, with, with decent copies so there endeth the lesson another one again you know if, if you keep coming back for these thank you ever so much i really appreciate it uh, if you're new welcome um, please hit like and it would help me enormously i'm at 47 subscribers so somebody left but somebody keeps doing that i think there are people that that just kind of like their false fake profiles and they subscribe to like like bots they subscribe to loads of people and then they get removed again it's happened a few times i see like some weird name will pop up and when i go to actually do the favor and subscribe back they've gone and so on as their subscription or the number has dropped so uh, but anyway 47 trying to get to 50 that would be amazing um so if you could hit subscribe if you knew that would be absolutely brilliant uh, and I, I will reciprocate. Uh, I do try and reciprocate whenever I can. Uh, and yeah, if you've got any top tips, any hints, any mistakes you've made that you'd like to share, please hit me down below in the comments. And don't forget to tickle the notification bell to keep abreast of everything that's coming out. And I shall speak to you soon. Take care.